Okay, let's begin with vectors. Okay, last week I talked a bit for at length about vectors and I told you what's the important thing about vectors. There are two types of vectors. What are they? Position and direction. Okay, you can have two things from this. You can build two things from it. Or maybe it's better to say this way. Two position give you what? One direction. Two direction give you what? One normal. Okay, I can build two things from it. We can build, yep, line and a plane. Okay, we will come to this one later. I'll teach you more. And there are two main, two main equation that you need to know to be more exact calculation. The scalar product will be A dot B equals to modulus A modulus B cos theta. This is scalar product. Yes, sorry of my arrangement this morning. I'm not sure why. I'm a bit not in good orientation. And another one is a vector product. It's A cross B modulus A B sine theta and hat or unit vector. Okay, and this is the main one of this topic. There, there are of course more, but this is the main calculation. This is n hat, oh, and then there's a small hat there. What type of hat is it? Well, a uh, sombrero maybe. <laughs> That's a little sombrero for you. Okay, so let's begin. Today we're just going to cover about scalar product. If we have time, we if you have enough time, we go to vector product over here. So. Okay, these are the two main ways of writing down vectors. But I, I prefer the third way to write down vectors, which is this. A equals to 2, 3, negative 4. I prefer this, this style instead. Okay, that's not much of a problem. Just this way is not really... A good way to write down in exams. The weekly is good way. Do you know why I prefer this instead of uh, the second one? <laughs> it's a less thing to write down, and you can see straight away that this is I J K. And I think the main important reason is because of my handwriting. The less thing I write down, the better. <laughs> well, these people seems to agree, smiling quite. Like smile, big smile there. <laughs> okay, so let's begin. So if I were to write down B, negative I plus 2J minus K, it will be what? B equals to what? Negative 1. Okay, my screen are uh, not the same as your screen. Negative one. Sorry about that. The monitor screen I could see more. For those who are asking, sir, what is IJK, sir? It's sort of XYZ coordinate. Axis. 
Okay, so right now, if I were to say to you, and it's not stated in my example here, but let's declare that A and B, yeah? they are direction. It should be stated, but somehow it's, it's not stated. Okay, let's, let's declare them as a direction because it, this will not work if it's a position, unless if it's an OA or OB. So if we ask you to find A dot B, how will it be? Okay, A dot B will give you a single unit. What do I mean by that? Is two, three, four dot with a negative one, two, negative one. Okay, this is also what we call a it's a scalar product. But since of this shape here is a it's a dot, so sometimes we call it a dot product. We don't call it times. Okay, we call it dot product. So how are you gonna do a dot product? This with this, you multiply them. What do you get? Easy negative two plus. So Allah Akbar. I'm sorry about that. Okay, seriously sorry. 3 times 2, 6, and finally, 4, negative 1, negative 4. So what do you get? Can you see? Is it 0? Yeah. Negative 4? Oh, I, I, I copy it wrongly, is it? A, 2, 3, negative 4. My goodness, someone did not have coffee this morning. So, negative 4, negative 1? Positive 4. Thank you. So, 10 minus 2. Eight. Okay, you guys cool? That's the easy way. Okay, now what about if the question B asks you, find the angle between them. Find the angle between vector A and B. Normally, if the question asks you find the angle without stating anything else, the best way to do is a scalar product or dot product. Do you remember the equation? Not yet. The formula is A dot B equals to modulus A modulus B cos theta. Okay, if I say I want the angle... Which one is this? Obviously the theta. Congratulations. Okay, do take note A and B, they are what? This is a direction vector. Direction vector 1. So this one is also direction vector 2. What I'm trying to say to you is, if it's a position vector, you could not calculate. It will play an important role, important roles later. Okay, so right now we want this theta. Obviously, you want your theta to be alone. So, do you know a dot b equals to what? We have calculated just now, which is a. I calculated it wrongly, but my class corrected me. Thank you. The first one over here is. 8 
based on what we have calculated over here. Now, modulus A and modulus V. We have encountered before modulus in the topic of polar form. What do we do for the modulus? How do you calculate modulus for complex number? You square, square, and then you square root. Okay, so it's the same process over here. Just add another number. So normally we, we write things beside. So modulus A will be what? You got here? 2, 3, negative 4, right? So it's supposed to be 2 squared plus 3 squared plus negative 4 squared. And what do I do with this? Square root. Calculate for me, what do you get? Take up your calculator. Square root 29. You guys okay? Okay, without me helping you, can you try modulus B? What do you get? What do you get for modulus B? How do you calculate modulus B? Square root 6, yes. How the heck do you get that? It says from this value of B, square, 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 plus, eh, square, plus, square, plus, square, plus, square root. Hey, is it 6 or square root 6? Because I keep on hearing people say just 6 is now. Or maybe I'm hearing it things strongly down here. Okay, so we got ourselves square root 29, square root 6. Where do we put it? We put it here, modulus A, modulus B. So square root 29, square root 6, cos theta. Okay, how do I continue from here? What do we want? Theta, right? So what should I do with the 29 and 6? What should I do with this guy? Cross it down there. 8 over square root 29, square root 6. Cos theta. Okay, press this inside into your calculator. What do you get? Please divide them correctly. Zero point six zero six. And it's a cos theta. Do I want a cos theta? I just want a theta. So how do I get just a theta? You shift cos them. So what do you get? 52.66 degrees. Do we get the same? Yeah. Okay, here's something that I would like to ask you. Is this difficult to remember? Not difficult, right? So if I give you something like this, class, please, I need your cooperation for this one. If not, you get lost in this college. If I give you something, equation like this, you can find me theta, right? I mean, you know how to derive the formula for you to get the theta, am I right? It's not difficult. You can do it, am I right? Because in college, some people recommend you to memorize this formula instead. Theta equals to cos negative 1 or shift cos A dot B modulus A modulus B. Some people said, hey, if you want to get theta, then memorize this formula. But how do we get this formula? Just a derivation from here. We 
You can see, right? Okay, is it difficult for you to derive? No. I mean, if you don't remember this one, can you solve this question on your own? Yeah. By just remembering this one. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, some syllabus, they ask you to memorize this, but I, I would not recommend you to. If you can derive from here, why do you need to memorize another thing? You, you are memorizing extra thing. And memorizing extra thing in exams, it's not a good thing. So, I think I, I sent you a text yesterday about a picture, about memorization. People don't memorize derive. People memorize formula. Like, if I ask you what's the formula for force, oh, you don't take physics, I forgot. Well, you can, most of you can remember F equals to MA, am I right? Or oh, another way of saying F equals to MA is? Full Metal Alchemist. Brotherhood. <laughs> okay, you remember F equals to MA, but if I ask you, hey, find me the acceleration. Do you memorize a new formula? No. A equals to F over M. It, it just accepts. I mean, you can derive from here. So, it's the same thing as here, finding the angle. I would not recommend you to memorize this. But I would recommend you to derive from here. Are you okay with that? Yes. Right. So we are taking this route just from here, scalar product or dot product, finding the angle just like that. No more extra memorize. You will be surprised and ask your friends how many how many of your friends. I mean, you can try later. Just ask your friend, hey, uh, how are you going to find the angle? And they'll be searching the book to find you this formula. And you can ask them again, hey, why don't you, you just use this formula? And you see their response later. Okay, moving on to the next example. If you are given something like this, It takes some time for you to appear, is it? If you give an example 2, where A equals to 2 alpha negative 1, and B equals to alpha alpha 3, and we know that A and B are perpendicular find value of sorry the screen is has a limited views compared to the internet Okay, so you're given something like this and we were given A and B, they are perpendicular. Find value of alpha. So where's your alpha? One, two, three, there are three alpha there. How are we going to find? The clue that we are given, that they are perpendicular. Perpendicular, what does it mean? It's also a 90 degrees. What can 90 degrees help you? Okay, this is an angle, am I right? So do you remember the formula for perpendicular? Uh, good idea, but we are not going that far. What about vectors formula? What what have you memorized so far? A dot B equals to? Modulus A Modulus B Cos theta Okay, we, we need to add Okay, it's a good thing that you remember just now M equals to M, M1, M2 equals to negative 1 But now we're going to add another one of your weapon Okay, once you have more skill You can solve more questions So, theta equals to what? 90. So theta here equals to 90. Cos 90 equals to what? 
Press your calculator. Cos 90 equals to 0. So, A dot B modulus A modulus B times 0. So, what happened to the right side? This whole thing here be becomes 0. It becomes 0 when what? When A, B are perpendicular. Can you see how things goes? So next time in your life, if you ever ask the questions where A, B are perpendicular, you can straight away jump to down here. Alright? Add this to your weapon. Add this to your skill. Okay, we got, we got ourselves A dot B equals to zero. Fine. How do we continue now? Dot product, not times. It's a new term for you. It's a dot product here. You want to dot with what? Two uh, A and B. Yeah, you're going to A dot B. So how are you going to dot that? A dot B equals to zero. Yes, very good. So how are we going to dot things? 2 alpha, yes, the plus alpha squared minus 3. Okay, sorry, it's a bit long there. Are you okay here? And how do we solve this thing? It looks very, very familiar. Oh, it's a quadratic. How do you solve a quadratic? Yes, you ask your BFF. You press into your calculator. What do you get? So alpha equals to 1 and? Okay, okay. So this is your answer. Or if you're a bit kiasu, you can say, hey, alpha is a negative 3. Or... Alpha equals to 1. You can write down this, but I'm not really that particular. This is good enough for me. Understandable. Are you okay with it? Very, very good. Can we move on? Can we move on? Okay, let's say you're given this question. The next example. It's actually example four, but I'm going to write down three. Okay, let's say you're given A is equals to one. Yeah, it will appear soon. Okay, sorry about that. It's there, it's just not yet visible. Give it a few seconds. Do you know what this symbol means? You can see that. Lambda. Okay? So, one... Yeah, they're not in the correct alignment. And we know angle between A and B is cos negative 1, 1 over 84 square root. Find lambda equals to what? How do we solve? How do we start? I, I would not, I mean, uh, hold your horses. Like, 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 okay. 
they give you this thing. Angle is this. So what formula should we use? Dot product. A dot B equals to? Modulus A. Modulus B. Cos theta. Yes, sorry about that. And how do we continue? Well, you might want to put all this information first. A dot B equals to what? Two plus three lambda plus two. So that means four times three lambda or three lambda plus four. I'm fine. Modulus A, how do you find? How do you find modulus A? Yes. Squared squared plus, I think. Well, plus squared squared. So 1 plus lambda squared plus 4. 5 plus lambda squared. Nothing much you can do. What about modulus B? Fourteen, right? Calculate this on your own. So square root fourteen cos theta. All right, so how should we continue from here? The clue that we're given is angle between uh, uh, A, B is uh, cos negative 1 over 1 over 84. So this thing is equal to what? Equals to what? It's equals to theta, not equals to cos theta because there's, a sh there's already a shift cos over here. Can you see? Okay, it's already a shift cost or I want to say arc cost. So this thing is equal to theta. So I need to make this whole equation equals to theta. How? I need to make this theta. So bring the others down over. 5 plus lambda squared times square root 14. What about the cost? I need to shift cost them. Are you okay? And this thing here, I need to make it what? How do I continue from here? Equalize this with this, with the one that we are given. Okay, we know this is theta. This is also a theta. So we equalize them up. 4 plus 3 lambda over 5 plus lambda squared. 14. This thing equals to? 1 over square root 84. Are you still alive? That's a good thing to hear. Of course, yeah, you can say, sir, sir, can I take with a cos negative 1 as well, sir? Yes, you can. How do we get the right side? Because we are given, so we are comparing them. Actually, this is the better way of writing down in exams. By comparing, we got ourselves. Four plus three lambda. 
Okay, some people ask, sir, sir, can, can we just cancel off the course, sir? I would not recommend you cancel off the course because what we are doing, actually, we are comparing the things inside. I do know some examiners, they don't like the crossing of the course and they might deduct you the marks. Okay, so, so the, the safest way to go is just by writing down, the, by comparing the things inside. Okay, so from here, how do you proceed? We don't like square root, what do we do? That's the usual thing, you square, and then what do you do with this 5 plus lambda and all these things? Over here is nothing much, just a calculation. Please don't throw your stuff inside the kulia. Okay, we can combine these two first. Okay, over here nothing much. It's just, it's just a matter of grinding down your answers. And then from here, just square and multiply. And of course, you cross multiply as well. And simplifying. Okay, I'm skipping the process. <coughs> just a normal thing. 53 lambda squared plus 144 lambda plus 91 equals to 0. How do I continue from here? You should be getting yourself lambda equals to negative 1. Is that the only one? There's a pesky answers over here. And I would... Okay, based on the answers given here, this thing here... If you put it inside of here, which you need to check normally in exams, if you substitute inside, you will not get the value that we want over here. Okay, we will not get that. So for this case, we ignore the answers. So the final answers will be lambda equals to negative one. Okay, I think that's up for my, our time today. Okay, is that all about Scala products, sir? I did not mention a few things. Not really, I didn't mention. You also need to memorize the properties of dot product. What's, uh, what's the properties? I've explained the other day. It's over here. Okay? You need to memorize it up. Not much I can do to help you. Okay, a few seconds left, a few minutes. There's one extra question. If you're given this equation, one, negative one, negative one, and negative one, 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 you're given these two, are they parallel? What's your answer? Perpendicular is when they are 90 degrees. Parallel means they are side by side or something that you call a you call it a friend zone. Always side by side, nothing much. Are they parallel? What's the difference between them? So we can say, sir, hey, 
this one I can take the negative out. I can change to negative one negative one negative one one negative one negative one okay we can say a this is a we can say this is b and what does the negative means okay let's say this is a and it's pointing that way it's moving that way so b means is pointing in the opposite direction they are parallel they are not touching each other okay so a dot b equals to what well, technically you cannot calculate them because it's it's not touch a dot b is not equal to zero you just can't calculate them okay one final thing one final thing what about this? Okay, so, so this thing they are parallel, forgot. A, B are parallel. Okay. Why are they parallel? It's a, it is the same vector, this is just a scalar, so they are just a parallel. Just a multiplication, we can call it. We can call this theta a scalar or a multiplication. We can say A equals to lambda B. This is the normal way of writing down scalar. Now, if I give you something like this, I ask you the same question, are they parallel? Why not? This is negative one, this is negative one. But the three is not a, they are not a multiplication. We can say that, hey, A equals to lambda B, they are not a scalar. Not a scalar. So, A and B are not parallel. Okay, right, that's all for today. So today you have learned dot product. Okay, thank you. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe, comment, like.